If you're watching this video, you or somebody you know has suffered a miscarriage. What is a miscarriage? A miscarriage is where the pregnancy in its earliest stages, generally before 20 weeks, has failed to develop normally. Most miscarriages occur prior to 12 weeks. The reason a woman will know that she's having a miscarriage is that she will have had pain and bleeding. The bleeding often comes first and is the first sign that things may not be going to plan with the pregnancy. When you've had some bleeding, or somebody you know has had bleeding in the early stages of pregnancy, they need to present themselves to an early pregnancy assessment unit. The early pregnancy assessment units in Ireland are available in the 19 units that are looking after pregnant women. Most of these units would prefer that you'd make an appointment prior to attending. Sometimes the bleeding you will have will be heavy and the pain that you will have will be something that will require you to go to hospital outside of hours, either at the weekends or as an emergency basis during the night time. When you do attend the hospital, you will be offered a transvaginal ultrasound. Transvaginal ultrasound does give us the best information regarding what is going on inside in the uterus. You will also have blood taken for your blood group and a blood count. The diagnosis that you might be given when the scan has been performed will indicate what is happening. In many cases, fortunately, the pregnancy is continuing normally and bleeding often occurs even in normal healthy pregnancies. Unfortunately, however, some pregnancies do not continue as normal and the sonographer or the doctor may find that there is no heartbeat or indeed in many cases no baby has developed at all. This is called an anembryonic pregnancy. When the diagnosis is made, you will be offered a few options. Firstly, nature will usually realize and your body will usually realize after a period of time that things are not going to plan and a miscarriage will occur. And most of the time, this is complete. In other words, most of the tissue will have left the womb without any further intervention. Other times, following the bleeding, tissue may remain on inside in the womb and this may have to be removed either with the use of medication or by way of a small surgical procedure called an evacuation of retained products of conception or ERPC. Sometimes it's not straightforward, the diagnosis of a miscarriage, and you may ask to be asked to be returned to this pregnancy unit after a week or so. This occurs sometimes because your dates are not in keeping with what's finding the findings on the ultrasound and you may have to return in a week's time and hopefully at that stage a normal pregnancy will be seen to have to be ongoing. Also the other situation that can occur is that nothing is visible in the uterus on ultrasound and hormone tests may help guide us with respect to what's happening. Occasionally the pregnancy is not inside the womb and it, this is called an ectopic pregnancy. When a miscarriage is diagnosed, they're typically diagnosed into incomplete miscarriages whereby some of the tissue remains inside in the womb or a complete miscarriage where all the tissue has been passed from the womb or an anembryonic pregnancy or a missed miscarriage where the tissue or the pregnancy sac remains inside in the womb along with a small little embryo with no heartbeat. The options for managing these pregnancies varies from none is required when a complete miscarriage has occurred to medical management whereby medication can be given to help expel the pregnancy sac or the tissue from within the womb or a surgical evacuation of the womb, an ERPC as I've discussed, whereby you will be brought to theatre and a general anaesthetic will be administered to you and the tissue can be gently removed from the cavity using a small device called a curette where suction is generally applied and the tissue is easily removed. On occasion, if the tissue removed is not that of a pregnancy and maybe just the lining of the womb, you may be asked to follow up with further blood tests. When you suffered a miscarriage, this does not mean that more miscarriages are to come. And for most women, they will go on to have healthy, normal pregnancies the next time they are pregnant. Unfortunately, some women will suffer with recurrent miscarriages. And there are a variety of investigations available for these once a woman has had three miscarriages. 
I must admit that following two miscarriages and a woman not having any live births prompts me to instigate some of these investigations. But some units will wait for a third miscarriage to occur before investigating. The investigations may reveal that you have a clotting problem or that possibly you have a low progesterone level and in subsequent pregnancies some medications can be given that may help with the continuance of your next pregnancy. This is not guaranteed and some problems such as genetic ones cannot be fixed by way of medication and further detailed testing must be done.